In Chapter 5 of Black Myth Wukong, there's an incredible weapon you can easily miss which is tied behind a secret quest. The weapon is called the Staff of Blazing Karma and it really is amazing. This fire staff has one of the coolest moves and most powerful I have seen so far. This one guys, you don't want to miss. How's it going people? My name is DPJ. Now I am giving away a copy of Black Myth Wukong on a weekly basis. So if you don't own this game yet and would like to win it, or you can win it for a friend, it really is as simple as this. Drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below, make sure you are subbed. The more I see you active on my Black Myth videos, the more of a chance you have of winning. I'll pick one winner from the comment section and announce them at the end of the week. So good luck, everybody. Okay, so we're in Chapter 5 of Black Myth Wukong. There's a secret weapon. I feel you need to get your hands on. I got this thing thinking it would be good, but guys, I actually prefer this now over my mythical golden loon staff. It is that good. So how do you get this weapon? Well, you get it by collecting three fire crystals found from random bosses within chapter five. In this video guide, I will show you the location of each of these bosses. Okay, so this quest starts by you finding the first hidden boss of the Flint Chief. Taking him out will give you the first of the three fire crystals that you need. Now what I will say is, if you have it, use the fire mantle as it can only help you here as there's plenty of flames being thrown about. Okay so from the valley entrance shrine, from within the furnace alley, uh, follow the path I take on screen now to where this hidden bus can be found just off a ledge in that lava. Now once you get here guys, the boss himself isn't too much of a problem, it's just big and slow. You can easily take him out. The most annoying part about this boss fight is the smaller enemies that are in your way. They are really, really frustrating. But all in all, you shouldn't be struggling here guys. So yes, take this boss out and you'll get the first of these three fire crystals. Okay, so as you progress chapter 5, you will come to the Field of Fire area and the shrine you want here is the Ashen Pass Free Shrine. So from here guys, follow the path I take on screen now. Now upon you first come in here, there's a giant metal ball trying its hardest to run you down. To be honest, avoiding it using the clearances along the sides is pretty easy, even though there are enemies there waiting for you. But yeah, it's not too hard at all and once you get to the other side, you are clear. If you've already been here guys, you will know the path's clear so follow the path I take on screen now. So you will eventually come to the second boss of the Flint Vanguard. Again, here guys, the boss himself isn't really a problem. 
So we see nine enemies that join the fight that can be a pain in the ass. I mean, you can probably take these out prior to fighting a boss. I just decided to go head first in, and they really did my nutting. But I beat him first try, so it's quite easy. So upon you taking this boss out of the Flint Vanguard, you get that second fire crystal. Two down, one to go. Now from here guys, we need to make our way a little bit further down from this spot, from where we beat that last boss of the Flint Vanguard. So as you make your way down guys, you'll eventually come to a spot where you have to actually summon this boss. It requires four of those fire ores. These drop from those fire centipede looking mofos that pop up out of the ground and are quite common. Now there's a few on your way down to this boss where it's summoned, but what I will say is if you do not get enough and all the enemies in the area have been vanquished, there's a shrine just a little bit further on which you can rest at and respawn the enemies. So do what you gotta do here guys, get four of those fire ores and then make your way to this boss. But yeah, making your way down from that Flint Vanguard boss, you'll come to this point where you summon this boss, uh, whose name is the Mother of Flamelings or Flamlings, I'm not sure. Anyway, again, this boss isn't hard at all, but she does summon a load of those centipede bastards who are actually shitheads. Uh, but you should get this done quite easily, guys. I think I did that my second attempt because I wasn't particularly expecting so many of those centipedes to pop up out the ground. Like whack a mole, I wish I had a massive hammer to be honest, but hey, either way. But once you defeat this boss, guys, you get the third fire crystal. From here, guys, head to your nearest shrine where you can craft this amazing fire staff weapon. It truly is incredible, so yes, I hope you haven't missed it. Well, you can always go back to it, but yeah, I hope the video helps you out. If you did, leaving a like really helps me out. If you like what you see and want to see more of Black Myth Wukong, be sure to subscribe, and hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.